Okie dokie. Um, so we are officially in July now. So we're officially on cup month. I hope everybody's on a cup team. Um, and I wanted to quick because we just ended June on Monday, give a quick shout out to everybody um, who hit success club in June. So um, let's go down my list here. Kaylee Mayer, six points. Maggie Engels, 24. Brett Richardson, 25. Uh, Trey Bear, 15. Victoria Lovely, 12. Uh, Aubrey Thayer, 14. Doo -doo -doo. Kim Barney, 6. Cassandra Palomo, 7. Down, down. Brittany Ganey, 6. Molly, almost four. Cassandra, almost four. Jessica Tillisty, 13. Uh, da, da, da. And that is everyone. So I hope that everyone was saving their points for July. Um, and top volume was Aubrey there. Um, so quickly, um, July promotions from... The company, there's no official Success Club July promotions because it's cup month. Um, so you can go in your back office and look at teambeachbodycup.com um, and you can see what all of the tier prizes are. And we'll get into cup a little bit more. Um, my personal promotions, I'm going to buy a personal development book of your choice to the first person on the team that hits Success Club 10. So the first person to get to 10 points will get a book from me, whichever one you want. Um, so going into cup month, if you have, I don't think, um, a lot of you have not participated in a cup month before. Um, basically you get as many points as possible. So with Pio coming out, um, we have a really awesome promotion to push, um, 21 Day Fix in Spanish. Carl Deichler says that that applies to everybody. Everybody knows one person that could benefit from 21 Day Fix Spanish. I don't know anybody that speaks Spanish. Um, <laughs> I did meet one person from Mexico when I was on my honeymoon, and he friended me on Facebook. So maybe I will talk to him, but I don't know what he's going to tell me because I don't speak Spanish. So <laughs> that might be uh, kind of hitting my head against the wall. Um, so the first time that I ever participated in cup month, um, was when I was a newer coach, I had not reached diamond yet. And it was the first or second time that they did, um, cup. And there was, I want to say 1800 teams. Um, uh, and I did it with my coach was the captain and we placed 25th in the whole thing. So that really like got my butt in gear for cup month because I was like, holy crap, we placed 25th. Um, so really now my goal is to always get all of the tier prizes um, and you have to hit success club seven, every single person on your team for you to be eligible for all three tiers um, of the prizes. And there's a certain number of points per team also. I'm not sure exactly what that is, um, but there is a max number per coach and that's 35. So after 35 success club points, they don't count towards cup anymore. Um, so last year um, in July it was also during a brand new um, program that came out, T25 came out, which was huge. Um, so just to give you an idea of cup month and how much it can grow your business, last year I was coming back from Summit off the high of that, and we went right into um, – cup month with T25 being on sale, brand new, super hyped up program, much like Pio. Um, I got 33 success club points that month and my business from June to July, my income grew by 350%. So cup month is huge because there's, there's everybody's working for the same thing and there's almost always a promotion, um, a brand new program being released, which we use to your advantage. Um, so even if you're not going to do Pio, um, definitely put it out there in front of the people that would benefit from Pio, which is pretty much everybody. Um, there's the, the, what do I want to say? La, la, la. Um, the regular schedule. And then there's also a strength schedule, um, that has a couple extra DVDs and those little, oh, I 
can't reach them from here. Um, those little saucer things that Sliders. are crazy, crazy. Did you use them yet? Uh -huh. I'm scared of them. I don't even want to try. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to, I'm going to try it yet. I'll wait. Um, so, you know, you're super unadvanced athletes who are just starting their journey can do this program. And then people who are like ripped and just need some sh stretch, um, they can do it too. So, um, definitely use that. And then also the three day refresh is also on sale now. It's $140 for the challenge pack. So you basically get the little program, which is three days and it's like 50 bucks by itself. And then you also get a full bag of Shakeology. Um, I'm not pushing that to anybody until I try it myself. Um, just because I'm anal like that and I don't like to push programs to people unless I'm either doing it with them or I've done it myself before. So that's why I've never pushed anybody to do P90X because I've never done it. Um, so I'm kind of waiting to do my own review on the three day refresh. I've seen a lot of people have really awesome results from it. Um, but I like to just do it myself first. Um, so my personal development for you guys for this week, um, I recently listened and I will post the link in our group for you guys to go listen to it if you have time. Um, Lindsay Krause is one of the elite coaches and she did a phone or a video. She kind of posted on her Facebook. Um, I'll basically tell you whatever you want to know about what I do. What do you want to know? So everybody wanted to know how to best utilize your time, not how to manage your time, but okay, now you've managed your time and this is the time that you have. How are you, how do you become most effective? Um, and for most of us on this team, we do this as a second job. So being as productive as possible during the time that we're working is key. Otherwise we're just running around like chickens with our heads cut off. Um, so I will go over my little cliff notes. You can feel free to take notes. Um, and I'll also post the link of her video so you can watch it for yourself. Cause I'm just going to hit on kind of some, um, key topics that she did. So, um, be focused when you're working, um, when you're doing your power hour, turn your Facebook off. Like if you're in your messages, try really hard not to look where am I? Um, at that top little screen that has all the little red buttons and they say you have 13 notifications and four messages and 18 people want to be your friend. Don't ever look at that. Focus on what you're doing. Um, and you'll be a lot more productive. And I struggle with this too. Um, but you have to just be like, okay, I'm doing messaging right now, going through my message list. I'm going through my message list. And, um, what I started doing, which is really, really helpful in keeping myself on track. So a message comes in, somebody either is reaching out to you or you've reached out to them and now they're talking back to you. Um, so type all of what you're going to type in there and then you hit send. They might respond right back to you. Don't go back. Just go down your list. Unless of course, you know, you're only talking to two people and you have time to go back and forth. With them but if you're having lots of messages come in um, it's easier to keep track of everything if you're you know they respond you respond they and then if you get back up to the top and you're still during your time of your power hour where you're doing messages you know go back and respond to them but there's a lot of times where you know you're answering a bunch of messages and then you end up just having a conversation with one person. You're like, Oh, I had these 13 other people and I didn't get to any of them because this person sucked up 28 minutes of my 30 minute response time. So that's something that kind of keeps you on track and keeps things on an even keel for you. Um, the other thing with, um, this is I'm backtracking because my mind, if you've ever talked to me, you know, I have 13 conversations at once. Um, the other thing I wanted to say about cup month was have tangible goals. So figure out, um, how many success club points you want to push for, how much, um, how many challenge packs that is for you to sell, how many people you want to have in your challenge for whenever you're starting it. If you're starting it in July sometime, or if you're going to have 
everybody in July order and then you start in August. Um, and also think like, this shouldn't be the top thing on your list, but think about, you know, where you want your income to be. Um, if you want, you know, if you want to make $200 this month, or if you want to make $2,000 this month, um, just kind of think about where you want everything to be so that you can go through and kind of make sure that you're on the right path. Um, let's see. Um, also during cup month, I'm finding, um, I follow a ton of coaches. I follow a lot of new coaches and I follow a lot of coaches who have been doing it for a really long time. And I'm finding that, and this will depend on your following and the people that you are interacting with. But for the most part, um, I'm, I've been kind of researching this and it seems as though people have better interaction when you post a picture of you doing a pio move with a little blurb about how you're doing pio and how you like it or you post a picture of your meal and you know this is two greens a red and a yellow people are like two you know what is that people that don't know that that's 21 day fix as opposed to posting you know a generic picture of the 21 day fix like the dvds and the little thing oh lots of lightning um you know, I have 21 day fix on sale, buy it for me. It, um, it seems to, if you're living proof that these products are working and you're doing them and you're just kind of subtle about the fact that you're selling them and doing them, I'm, I'm noticing that there's more interaction there and there's more engagement into your photos and your posts online. Um, and the other point I wanted to touch on, um, Especially since we had we had, we had a bunch of naughty naughty friend people um, that were very negative, I'll say. Um, like the conversation that Betsy had, um, Christine posted something too. I feel like there's negative Nancys everywhere this week, and I'm not really sure why. But what I can say, and I um, this is another thing that one of the elite coaches told me, and it makes so much sense and it makes it makes it so that you are always being the positive person. Um, anytime somebody says something where they're like, well, that doesn't work or I don't like that or blah, blah, blah. Anything where they're putting down something that you're trying to tell them about instead of saying blank shake, other shake company, um, their stuff is garbage and they have lead in their shakes and they're no good and they're full of stuff. Um, instead of saying that, I say, I don't really know anything about those shakes, but I've been drinking shake allergy for almost three years and I can tell you how it makes me feel. So instead of bashing something else, if we just turn it around and say, well, I don't really know about that, but, but this I know about, and this I can tell you about because this is what's been getting me results. I don't know anything about this over here. Um, and I'm finding that people really respond to that because then because they're like oh well, I'm not going to talk to you about this product if you don't even know anything about it um because then then it just kind of closes that door for you so you're not bickering back and forth because I that oh that's happened to me so many times where people are saying um well this shake is better and I'm like no mine is better and you're back and forth and back and forth and then all of a sudden you're just having a fighting contest over whose powder is better than the other person's and it's ridiculous so that's my take on that. Um, another thing with, if you are a cup captain, make sure that you're connecting with your team. Um, if you're not a cup captain, but you're a member and um, your team is not kind of connected, make a little group, you know, like a group message or, um, set up a zoom call or something so that you guys are connected all the time so you can kind of roll ideas off of each other and feed off of each other's energy because that's really what cup is all about um, another thing is make your goals public to all of your team so when you say like I'm gonna get 30 success club points and I'm gonna make two thousand dollars this month and I'm going to have 50 people in my challenge group tell all of that because we all know running challenge groups if you tell somebody your goals, somebody's going to keep you accountable for them. So it's the same thing with cut month as with our challengers. Um, so rally together with your team. Um, 
you know, be a team player, help, help each other kind of keep the momentum up and keep your, um, you know, your spirits up about everything. Um, and remember it's, you know, we, now we have a team inside of a team. So your team is counting on you um, to hit those at least seven points to get all of those tier prizes. Um, and to really team cup month, if this is your first time being in a cup, you're going to notice that if you really put forth the effort and you, you take cups seriously, um, you're going to watch your business grow. You may not win cup and go to California and have your name on the big thing, big um, but at least, you know, you're, you're going to propel your business forward. So those were my notes for today's call. Um, does anybody have any questions, comments, concerns, issues, fun things to chat about? Cause now my throat's dry from the yapping. Uh, no, no. I love all your emails, by the way. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying them. My little phone goes off at work, and I'm like, oh, let me read, because I'm sick of doing what I'm doing. <laughs> um, so I, you guys are both on a cop team, right? Yes. Cool. I'm on your team. Oh, yeah, I know that. I know that. I'm just pretending like I'm talking to more than two people. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm actually on two cup teams. Matt is on a cup team. <laughs> AKA me. He was like, Oh, I'm on a cup team. I'm like, Don't you? No, I'm on two cup teams. <laughs> so, anybody have anything else? We're kind of short this week. One of these weeks, I'm going to be wicked organized. You watch. <laughs> I don't know when it's going to happen, but I'm going to surprise you one of these days. And I'm not going to come running in. Ooh, there's a big giant storm, and we just hung up gutters. I did like your intro music, though. I, you know, Christine Dwyer does that with her calls, and it's always fun. There's no, you can't see her, but she has music. Yeah, it made me laugh. Like, That's Good. fun. <laughs> Plus, I really like that song. I do, too. I love that song. <laughs> I like that whole album. <laughs> I've only heard that song, but I enjoyed it. Well, thanks. It's like a little dance party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I will post this for anybody else who wants to watch it. If your coaches want to watch this or you want to watch it again. And I will also post um, the recording that Lindsay Krauss video. It's like 15 or 18 minutes long, but I was like scribbling, writing notes because she, she, she's like really good at organizing everything. And she has this little binder and everything's very organized. And I hope to be organized. So if I listen to enough organized people, hopefully it will osmosis. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I have. I'm going to stop the recording.